Yo, what up, it's Don. Samuel here. Soul Brothers back up in here with a Ooh. performance review. Yes. KT4 Low. Shout out to Famuji Sneaker. Uh, I want to thank them personally for uh, sending these out. If you guys want to cop these or anything from Leaning or Anta, like those Chinese companies, we'll leave a link in the description box. So go ahead and check them out. But this is 110 bucks. That's super Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Yeah, it's, it, it is like his Clay Thompson's main signature line. Yeah. It's not like a budget model. It, it is the low, I guess. It they chopped is. the top off, but it's pretty much the same. Exactly. Well, a lot know? of it's the same. Yes. So a good price. Is it a good performer? That's what we're gonna find out right now. So let's get it started off with the traction. So they kept the pattern and everything exactly the same as the high or the regular version. But the weird thing is, I feel like they changed up the rubber compound, or maybe the color is making it a little bit more sticky, but it sticks better than the high does, hmm. which is really interesting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the traction is freaking nice. I really never had to wipe. Like, I was like, oh, maybe it's because it's clean in here, but it, it's been real dry out. It's been super dusty and dirty, and I was playing in other shoes that weren't sticking, and those shoes weren't sticking, but this was. So um, even if it was dusty, the bite was still amazing, and then dust, pickup was very minimal and even if it did pick up a little bit of dust it was just a super light and very quick wipe and I was just good to go for like another like million plays you know what I'm yeah. saying like really never picked up dust so clean court very good very hard stop dust really nice really minimal dust pickup outdoor use also is very good these Chinese companies I don't know if it is if it's because like China has like a lot of outdoor courts or something like that but um they make their rubbers with extra durable rubber or like they have like that's what they say on their site. So, um, I mean, there's really no fraying or anything. Uh, the rubber is pretty hard, and yeah, it doesn't seem like it's gonna wear out or rip or anytime or anything like that anytime soon. So, uh, durability seems really good as well. So, overall traction pattern is is very very nice. Mm. Very nice. All right, moving on to the cushion. Cushion. Marshmallow. Yes. It's a giant marshmallow. Yeah, I, I mean, it really looks and feels like a marshmallow. Oh, yeah, that kind of does, yeah. I wish you could try this, dude. Yeah. Super duper comfortable. They don't have these in my size, I know. Yeah, the, the biggest size, I think, is like a 12 yeah. or 12 and a half. I mean, you can fit your, uh, you can stuff your foot inside like a 13. Curl my toes up. <laughs> exactly, but 12 is just too small yeah. for me, you know? Uh, but yeah, so it's full length flash foam, and it is so comfortable, dude. It's like very, it, it's a little too mushy. Uh, in the fo in, in the heel, in my opinion, you know, they make it super thick, you know, they have a little bit of an indentation So it's easier to, to compress it here in the heel. Um, it does bottom out a little bit So it, it doesn't feel as squishy as it did at first or maybe I just got used to the cushion I'm not hundred percent sure, but yeah, it, for me It feels a little too mushy in the heel, but other than that impact protection is great, especially for, for heel strikes um, I would have liked it the, the feeling to be a little bit more I guess faster of a rebound if mm -hmm. it was then that would have been a lot better especially for responsiveness which we'll get into also like another thing is that you feel pretty like the, the offset. Offset. Yeah, yeah the offset feels pretty high yeah. you know? so like the heel is pretty high and then the, the court feel in the forefoot is actually pretty good I can also feel the the um, the flash foam in the forefoot just a little bit it feels real soft real plush also the insole is not bad I mean it's just a regular oh, oh, I don't know if it's ortholite, but it doesn't feel bad. Yeah. Uh, it's not real cheap. And there is a little bit of a cutout here in the heel, so you can feel the flash foam there, kind of like in the center. But if you feel where the strobe board is, more like stiff. Mm -hmm. um, but overall cushion setup, uh, really nothing bad to say about it besides it being a little mushy in the heel. So if you don't like that, you should stay away from this shoe. But it wasn't horrible, like to the point of like, you know, like the Crazy Life Boost 2016 yeah. and stuff like that. It wasn't that bad for me, but uh, it was just a little too mushy. So other than that, Great cushion setup. All right, moving on to the upper slash materials. Yes. Looks nice, feels nice. Yeah. How's, yeah. It, how's it on foot? And uh, it feels great. This is like a, uh, it's a knit. It's a knit. Uh, and it's very nice knit. Very well. nice. It's got some a decent amount of uh, perforated holes in the toe for yes. ventilation. Yes, which we'll get into. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, feeling it in hand, it's- $110, I mean, that's pretty <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Exactly, like the, the material quality is great. It's not like one of those cheap textile shit meshes, shit knits, you know, like kind of mm -hmm. like the uh, like the Mamba Rage and Mamba Instinct. It was kind of like a 
pretty nice knit material, but it feel, felt like plasticky and pretty cheap. It doesn't feel like that. Yeah. Feels real nice. Quality is good. Feels soft on foot. It, it's slightly stretchy as well, especially in the toe area. And yeah, the material is, is just super nice. You have a mesh tongue as well that connects to the underlying material that goes underneath this, uh, I guess, knit upper. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's really nothing bad to say about it. It's easy to put on as well. You have a pretty pronounced heel tab. You have a traditional lacing system with rope laces. You, it's super easy to put on. So lace up your laces and you're good to go, you know? So uh, materials, very, very nice, especially for the price. Fit. Fit, go true to size, but if you want a really snug fit, like I, I like to have a really snug fit, I, I go down especially, half a size. Yeah. Especially in a soft knit like this. Exactly. I mean, this toe is like real soft. Yes, exactly. And also it's slightly narrow. It, it's not choking my foot out, but I, I can feel it. I feel the tightness of the knit width wise for me. But also keep in mind that knit does most of the time stretch out. You know, and it doesn't feel like this knit is actually like glued down at all. Uh, it just feels like it's just a regular ass knit, you know, which is good. You don't, you don't, it doesn't feel stiff or anything. So it, it'll definitely stretch out uh, once you break it in. So um, yeah, fit for me was great. It was great. Nice. Uh, support and lockdown. Support and lockdown was also really good. Um, I am lighter. I'm really light, actually 145 pounds. So um, I'm not, obviously I'm not putting as much torque and force as you know, you bigger guys. Oh, the big boy. <laughs> oh, the big boy. So um, yeah, for lateral containment, I could feel my toe like hit the knit right here. I mean, nothing really comes up, you know, like this plastic caging doesn't come up, no foam comes up. It just comes up like crazy towards the heel. Yeah, it does, yeah. Super aggressive, uh, massive plastic, uh, lateral counter exactly but that also is caging a good amount of the cushion exactly exactly but now that in the forefoot so uh, I wasn't sliding out of the footbed um, maybe just a little bit um, but I could feel like the knit stretching just a little bit you know so it wasn't the best for lateral containment but yeah so it was good for me but like if you're a bigger dude I, I feel like if you're doing a lot a lot of lateral movements you'd feel it a little bit more so just be careful on that but for me it was pretty good and also like you have a eh, no really outrigger but it's a pretty wide base mm -hmm. and um ladder i was laterally stable and I, it wasn't like mushy or anything like i didn't feel like i want to roll my ankle or anything like this yeah. so um supporting lockdown was actually really good for me so all right let's see how much these weigh yes Ooh, uh, they're not too light in the hand uh i'm gonna go with 13 and a half. 11.57. What? Yes. That's pretty light. That's actually, yeah, real, a lot lighter than my normal. My normal is like 12 to 12.5 ounces. That's actually real light. Yeah. So pretty damn light, very, very responsive shoe. Like the traction is amazing, fit, support, and all that was good for me. Um, it's just that the heel is a little mushy. I feel a little bit of a loss for a reaction time because of that. Um, but when, when you're sprinting and stuff, like you're mostly sprinting on your forefoot. Yeah. When you're kind of like jogging or stuff like that, I kind of felt the heel. You know, yeah. Like mushy heel. So just keep that in mind. Step in comfort, walking around. Comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like, yeah, you do. You can definitely rock this on court and off the court. The cushion is so comfortable and the material, like the knit material is also stretching, very comfortable as well. And I guess that kind of leads into ventilation. Like I thought the ventilation wasn't going to be that good because like, there are really big ventilation holes here in the toe area, but there is an underlaying material as well. Right. But that underlaying material is basically like this mesh material, if you look at it. And if you blow through it, you can feel the, the wind. You can breezy. Feel it. Exactly, it's very breezy. Ventilation is super, super duper nice. So uh, ventilation is also really good. Zero breaking time? Yeah, zero breaking time. Very comfortable, right out the box. And um, yeah, so yeah. you're good to go. Uh, durability, I mean, it looks yeah. like it's holding up. I mean, that, I mean, it is a knit, and the niches, yeah. knits, niches, knits do stretch a little bit yes. over time. So there's that, but um, but yeah, I mean, the cushion uh, obviously all foams do bottom out. Um, but I, I, my regular pair, I, I play in those sometimes, and uh, it still feels pretty good. And also the traction, it seems extra durable. Um, it's just the knit that I'm a little worried about, mm -hmm. but other than that, it seems pretty good. Uh, aesthetics. I like these. Yeah, they're pretty dope. Yeah. I don't like this colorway so much, but I, I, there are other colorways out, but I, I like the overall silhouette. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. I like the lack of like massive branding. Yeah. You don't see like a ton of like leaning logos anywhere. I mean, there's a little baby logo on the uh, little outrigger yeah. counterpiece, but 
yeah so let us know what you guys think in the comment section i guess let's wrap it up yes uh, 110 bucks dude i'd say this is the best bang for your buck shoe out right now dude i mean wow. you're getting really great quality materials really good tech really good performance for only 110 freaking dollars I mean, the no. PG3 is the same price, but you're not getting the same material. Exactly. I mean, it's an awesome shoe. Yeah. Whether it's better or not, that's for another video. Yes. But, but yeah, yeah. Crazy well, cheap. 100%. Uh, I, I recommend this. Yeah, right. yeah, this is a top tier shoe performance. Everything is it's great. So The only problem is that they're a little annoying to buy. We do have you covered with Fumuji uh, yes. sneakers down below. They're reputable, you know, so, but you know, you gotta order from China, it takes a little bit to get over here. Exactly, so just keep that in mind, but if you wanna save a little bit of money, uh, get a pretty dope shoe that's not like name brand and has really good performance, 100% recommended. I love this shoe and it will definitely be in my rotation. So, uh, there you go. If you guys don't wanna call it, we'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.